Hello wonderful people, it's Wild here. In today's tutorial, I'll show you over 120 1.20 building ideas. In this video, we'll cover everything from lighting to exterior and interior decorating and even some complete builds. We'll go through a range of different styles and utilize all the new 1.20 blocks. I've broken all these ideas down into categories, so you can go to the timestamps to jump to the category you need. We'll begin by looking at a range of items to be used when decorating outside, and we'll start by looking at some lighting ideas. For this first design, I've paired a decorated pot with some cherry blossom wood, and you can see I've placed some candles inside the decorated pot to provide the light. You can see they're almost tucked inside the lip here, and it really looks so pretty. For this next design, I've used bamboo and I've created this slanted design using some of these trapdoors to provide a nice gradual tilt. I've hung a lantern from here and this works great over our pathway as the lantern really extends out to light up where you'll walk. For this cherry blossom street light, I've used the dark texture of cherry blossom bark to provide contrast and you can see it looks really great underneath these trapdoors. For this street light design, I've used some of these decorated pots along with some brick and some acacia. This colour palette works so well together and the pots work really well for a post. Using this fire decorated pot, I've created this flaming torch and how grand would this look outside of a castle? You could use this kind of Japanese style lantern using these cherry blossom trapdoors leading up to a Japanese castle or up to your Japanese house. Here we've got some more lantern designs. This smaller one uses a daylight sensor so your light can come on in the night. All you'll need to do is just flick it and it will come on as soon as it gets dark. This bamboo design uses an ochre frog light. The color scheme works so well together. This simple idea just places a lantern inside the pot and it all becomes one piece as you can see the lantern sinks inside the lip of the pot. Now we'll look at some outdoor furniture. First I've created this little picnic bench out of some cherry blossom wood. You can see the small bench seats here and a cherry blossom trapdoor table. I've then created a small picnic umbrella using some of these quartz slabs as well as some pink carpet for colour. For a medieval build, this flag looks great. You can see that the decorated pots provide a nice transition up into the post and I've gone with green for the flag. I like the contrast with the red of the brick. If you're building a cottage core or fairy style build, you can decorate outside with some of these hearts. The cherry blossom wood has such a pretty pink hue and it works so well for a heart shape. If you're building a farm, you're going to want some scarecrows. This first design uses bamboo, and I've gone ahead and used an observer for his face. He almost has a grumpy appearance. I've also given this fellow a little lantern, but you could easily switch out this head for a jack-o'-lantern and give him a pot to hold some bamboo. Over here, I've created a cherry blossom scarecrow, and for his face, I've used a dropper. He looks like he's smiling. Once again, you could use a jack-o'-lantern here, and I've given this little fellow a cherry blossom pot. For his body, I've used the log of the cherry blossom wood, which provides some nice contrast to his pink outfit. This next build is a bamboo umbrella, and it would look fantastic on a beach. You can see by using these trapdoors and slabs, I've created a nice curved design. Perhaps you might like to create a little tiki bar like this one. The bamboo works so great for this and I could imagine it on a beach. I've used these slabs to give my tiki bar a three block height and it works great for having these little stools. I've decorated with pots, some of these sea pickles and turtle eggs. Using these decorated pots and a cauldron you can create a really cool cooking fire. Simply suspend your pots by some chains and place some campfires and now we're really cooking. Here we've got a cherry blossom gazebo. You can see that the cherry blossom leaves form the roof of this design, so when you walk inside, you can see the pretty pink petals falling. It really is magical. This design is also illuminated by some of these pearlescent frog lights. 
Taking a look at some other gazebo designs, this one ja has a Japanese feel. You can see it almost looks like a four-way Tory gate and would be a great way to add a really nice feature to two paths joining. Over here I've created a little beach scene. You can see I've created a bamboo gazebo and placed in some of these tiki torches. I've used lots of pots around the place to put in some tropical plants and then I've used some bamboo and some cactuses to frame the whole arrangement. With its little campfire and seats, wouldn't this be a wonderful place to sit on the beach? Next let's look at some portals. Over here we have got a cherry blossom and mushroom design. You can see the tree arches over the top of the portal and then I've used some more of these cherry blossom trapdoors to disguise the portal further. With these mushrooms, both big and small, and flowers, it really has a magical appearance. You could also try making a Japanese style Tori gate portal. You can see I've used the sides of the portal to create the posts of my Tori gate and then I've gone and created a Tori gate at the top to finish everything off. These floating lanterns have a really magical design that you could use to amp up your build. Now we've got four to look at here so let's get started. This first one uses the bamboo along with some of these ochre frog lights and I've paired this with some of these glow berries. These next three use cherry blossom as their jumping off point. Here I've mixed the cherry blossom with some of these weeping vines and mangrove wood. This one uses some amethyst and purple for a pink and purple design. And here I've used this cherry blossom wood and paired it with these roots. Now these hanging roots have a same, uh, similar color palette to the cherry blossom and then I've created this custom banner to place around the four sides of my floating lantern. Wouldn't these look so magical ab above your build? Next let's look at some bridges. We've got three here. This first one is a bamboo design and you could extend it to be any length of your river. It would look so great in a jungle. You can see I've used the trapdoors and slabs to create a gradual slope and then I've placed in some bamboo posts. This grand brick design looks like it's leading to an adventure so I've placed in some of these decorated pots and I've gone with the map and fishing rod one. I've also paired it with the jungle wood and you can see that works really well with the lighter coloured stripe in the decorated pots. Our last bridge design is a cherry blossom bridge. You can see that I've used the log texture of the cherry blossom for a feature point in the centre of the bridge and then I've placed some of these hanging cherry blossom signs. It would look so great leaning up to a Japanese style build. Next let's look at some larger designs. We've got a range of styles here. For this first house I've used the cherry blossom along with some dark oak and nether brick to create a Japanese style house. This small but show stopping build is the perfect use for the cherry blossom wood and it would look so pretty in a cherry blossom forest. Once you've done some adventuring, you might like to build a little greenhouse like this to show off all of your finds. If we come inside, you can see my sniffer has been hard at work and I've got some of these torch flowers planted as well as some pitcher plants and I've placed in some little cherry blossom bonsais. I've kept my rest of my planting to a similar color scheme to these three feature flowers and doesn't it look so magical? For this second house design, I've gone with a fairy-like feel. You can see that cherry blossom is the key feature here and I've used it for the roof as well as all the details. And then for the other colours, I've used the pitcher plant as my jumping off point. So I've used lots of purple and blues with the amethyst and blue flowers. You can see from the side here, I've gone with a swooping roof design and then I've created these small curls at the top of my roof for an extra fantasy touch. This next chimney design could be implemented into any of your pre-existing builds to really upgrade it. You can see I've taken a very stylish chimney as it is and elevated it by using some of these new decorated pots. I've gone for the one with the flame design and you can see it as a nice transition. It's just a bit smaller than the block and a bit bigger than these walls. Doesn't it look fantastic? For this third house design, I've used the bamboo to create a tropical style house. You can see everything is very open. We've got large open windows, we've got open chimneys, and around here we've got an open walkway which leads into the build. You can see I've even used some bamboo to create this open lattice style wall. And since I'd imagined this in a tropical style area, like perhaps a jungle, I've paired the bamboo with some jungle wood. 
The whole effect is really cool. Next, let's have a look at this little cherry blossom gazebo. Now for this design, you can see I've placed in all my posts and then created a ring of cherry blossom leaves around the top. I could imagine a picnic being set up underneath here and the cherry blossom petals falling down is so pretty. Perhaps you could pair this next design of a bamboo walkway with your tropical house. I've just created a simple shallow arched walkway with these bamboo posts and then I've decorated it using a whole lot of tropical plants and these jungle leaves draped over the top. For this next idea, why don't you create an archaeology camp like this one? This would be perfect to set up around your desert or jungle base where you're looking for buried treasure like these pottery shards and the sniff egg. Alongside this tent where I have got my little sleeping bag set up, I've placed a campfire and I've even built this bone structure coming out of the ground to really enhance the idea that we're digging for treasure and ancient things. Another idea is to create a bamboo rotunda like this one. You can see that the jungle leaves provide the roof for this build and I've paired it with some jungle wood. Now let's have a look at some fountains. This first smaller fountain uses the brick and some pots and terracotta to go alongside of these decorated pots which I've used for the spout. The spout of the pot looks great as a spout for this fountain. Another idea is to create a cherry blossom fountain. Not only is the central pillar of the fountain itself made of lots of cherry blossom, and you can see I've created this smaller bowl at the top of this fountain, but I've created some custom cherry trees in the four corners, and it really has a very grand appearance. Another cherry blossom idea is to create a cherry blossom picnic like this one. Once you've got a cherry blossom tree, you can hang a swing from underneath it and set up a picnic basket, picnic rug and little cake, and it has a really scenic appeal. On to some more houses. Here I've created a cherry blossom and moss tower. It really has a very magical feel. You can see I've created a turret style roof with a flag at the top and then I've used my cherry blossom as my decoration block. The green, white and pink colour scheme is so very pretty. Over here I've built a bamboo cottage. Now this would look fantastic in a jungle and a beach. You can see I've actually used some real bamboo alongside of my cut down bamboo for my window decorations and I've created these tiki style torches. Another thing you can see here is that I've used some of this suspicious sand in my wall. Now in survival you don't need to add this of course, but it does add some extra texture here. We've also got a little truck here, utilizing one of the other great features of the update, which are these hanging signs. Now I've gone ahead and created a red truck out of this mangrove wood, and you can see that these hanging signs create a great edge for the back of my truck. But you can create any color truck you'd like as long as you've got a hanging sign, so that means you have all of the wood types to choose between. Now we'll look at some more exterior decorations focusing on archways and fences. Here we have a cherry blossom archway and you can see I've used trapdoors to add some extra detail to these cherry blossom leaves. Here I've created a cherry blossom Tory gate. Now this one's on the smaller side but it will look fantastic leading up to your cherry blossom Japanese house. Here's a larger style Tory gate and for this one I've used bamboo, some of this mangrove wood, and then the red nether brick for a really high contrast build. Next we have a larger cherry blossom archway. This has a really natural appearance with a slightly leaning to one side archway. It would look fantastic in a fairy style build and I've hung some lanterns from the archway itself. Next up we have a jungle style bamboo um, archway. Here I've used lots of different textures to create the feature of this archway and I've placed some bamboo around its two side posts. Next up we have a larger Tory gate. This would look so grand leading up to a castle or temple and another great idea is to hang some lighting from your archways to light up your paths. For this next design, I've used these hanging signs to create a simple swing. This one here is spruce, but you could use any wood type you'd like. And to upgrade this swing, why not create a cherry blossom swing like this? 
I've created an archway out of these cherry blossom leaves and hung up my swing from that. It really would be a lovely place to sit. Next, let's look at some trees. We've got quite a few to choose between. This custom tree here uses an end rod as the stem and this means that it is also a light. For this one, I've used a decorated pot and placed another pot inside it so I can place in one of these dead bushes. Now you can place things directly in these pots, so placing a smaller pot inside is a great way to utilize them for planting. You can see I've then created a topiary by adding some leaves on top. Here I've created a custom small cherry blossom tree by placing a fence inside of my decorated pot. And here is a smaller topiary just by placing some leaves on top. You could also use this to create a little bonsai plant and I've created a cherry blossom one. And if you'd like a basket of flowers, by placing some of these pink petals on top of a coarse dirt surrounded by these cherry trapdoors, you can create a really simple but pretty planting scheme. If you're enjoying today's ideas, I'd really appreciate if you consider liking and subscribing and check out my Patreon if you'd like to support me further and get some amazing benefits. Next we'll check out some fences for around your build. This first one uses some of these cherry blossom logs as well as this nether brick for a darker colour and then you can see that we've contrasted that with the pink of the cherry blossom wood. Here we've got one where we've used some cherry blossom leaves placed in planters using dark oak as our base colour. This next fence uses the hanging signs to create a fence that would look great around a farm. I've gone with spruce here and then I've just used trapdoors and fences as my in-between posts. Next up we've got a cherry blossom fence. This one's so pretty and pink. I've just created small fence sections broken up by these cherry posts. And what about a bamboo design? You can see I've created a lattice-like trellis using these bamboo trapdoors and then I've planted some bamboo in the gaps. I've also used this green bamboo for my posts. Now let's look at these pretty hanging lighting designs. For these lanterns I've created some custom banners and I've gone with a pink and cream and yellow scheme to tie in with the pink I've used to create the actual archway that my lanterns are hanging off of. You could also create a bamboo string of lights. For this one, I've just used some lanterns and hung them from the bamboo string. Now let's move inside and check out some furniture. First, I've used some of these chisel bookshelves to create this here clock. And you can see I've placed some books in the bottom. It would look great in an office. Next, we have some designs for vanities. This first one has a bamboo look and you can see I've used a mirror banner as well. I've even got a little wardrobe here and I've paired the bamboo with some of this scaffolding. They go so well together. Or you could create a cherry blossom vanity. For this one, I've used some of these frog lights to create some vanity lighting. And I've stuck to a pink and purple scheme to tie in with the cherry blossom wood. I've even added a little hut drawer beside it. For a simple table you could use in your build, you can use some of these hanging signs which reach all the way to the floor for your legs and then place some trapdoors across it. Here I've got a design for a bed desk combo. We've got the bunk bed at the top and then I've used some of these chisel bookshelves to provide some design to the back of the desk. I've created another desk design here utilising these chisel bookshelves and I've paired it with a torch flower. I think the colour scheme works so well together. Next we'll look at some seating ideas. First we have these two small seats where I've used a trapdoor with some wool placed underneath as well as some signs. These would look great along a Japanese style dining table or you could use them going up against a desk. For this cherry blossom armchair, I've placed a banner at the back to provide some cushioning. And for this bamboo style armchair, I've done a similar design, but I've used a slab at the bottom. And I like the mosaic texture and how it gives it a real cushioned appearance. You could also pair this cherry blossom with some purple to create a really pretty purple and pink couch. And you can see I've used some banners here to create some cushions. Perhaps you could create some bamboo chaise lounges in a tropical or beach style build. You could also use these builds outside. 
here I've created a grand cherry blossom throne. Doesn't it look fantastic? I've used the trapdoors, the interior texture of the logs and some buttons to provide lots of detail to this grand throne. Next, let's look at some table settings. For this simple cherry blossom design, I've placed wool underneath the trapdoors to provide some small seating. Next, we have a larger dining style table. I've created these small seats around the outside and then I've used some scaffolding alongside my bamboo to create the tabletop. And you can see that the scaffolding acts as legs for the table. You could also create a large cherry blossom table. Here I've used some leaves for the central part of my table alongside some logs and then I've used some of these dark oak trapdoors for the table itself. I've got two styles of chairs going on here which means my captain chairs have an even grander appearance. And for another Japanese style table we've got these low seats just using some of these pressure plates and then I've placed some um, fish on a trapdoor here or rather a item frame and then a little cup pot. Let's look at some more furniture designs you can utilize in your build. With all the new armor trim, you're going to want to create a way to show it all off. So why not create an armor showcase like this? You can see I've used bamboo here as my contrast and I backlit my armor with these frog lights. You could also create a sword design like this and I've used some cherry blossom to create a stand for my sword. I've used some custom banners for the front here and then I've even placed a little bonsai on the top. Next I've used some of these decorated pods and I've enhanced them by placing an item frame on top and then some glass on top of that. This would look so cool outside a market stall. Next up some furniture for your bedroom. We've got some wardrobes here, another great way to store your armor trimmed armor. This one has some upper cabinets and I've just placed in some treasures. For this cherry blossom one I've created some custom sign drawers and then once again I've got my armor stands placed inside with my decorated armor. You could use these screens in your bedroom to separate spaces or just in within your house to create some defined rooms within an open space and I've got a cherry blossom and a bamboo design here. Next some beds. Here I've paired the cherry blossom with this mushroom block and then I've gone with a red and pink colour scheme. We've even got these leaves up here sprinkling some of these pretty cherry petals down above the bed. Here I've used some of these chiseled bookshelves to create a bookshelf and bed design. I've paired this with some spruce to add in some storage and shelving and then I've used some of these torch flowers as these colours all tie in so well with the others used within the build. For a smaller bed design you could create this cherry blossom one. It's just a tiny bit bigger than a regular Minecraft bed but it's so much prettier. Another idea is to create a bamboo bed and desk combo. Here I've created a desk area underneath. Then you can climb up this ladder to your bed and I've decorated with some pots and sea lanterns and lanterns. You could also create a cherry blossom four poster bed. Here the canopy is made of these cherry blossom leaves sprinkling down their petals below. And I've used some slabs to raise up the edge of the bed here, giving it a more grand appearance. This bamboo bed design almost has a modern feel, and you can see I've lengthened the bed design by using some of these quartz stairs at the back, and then I've created a bed surround using lots of bamboo. Another idea is to create a bookshelf like this one. Since you'll be storing lots of books on these chiseled bookshelves, you could create a whole library within your home. And here I've created a little bookshelf ladder running along here using these signs as our props. Now let's look at some lighting ideas. For this first one, you can see I've got a whole cherry blossom forest here. And the trick here is to hide inside your cherry blossom trees some of these pearlescent frog lights. Now you can see that once the leaves have been placed in front of them, they're pretty much impossible to see. But at night time, it provides a beautiful glow and will illuminate your cherry blossom biome. Once we've checked out all of these lighting designs, I'll set it to night so you can see just how effective they are. Let's first look at some of these chandeliers. We have a bamboo one here which uses an ochre frog light and some of these glow berries. 
Next, I've created a hanging light out of this decorated pot, and I've just hung a lantern from it with some trapdoors. For this cherry blossom design, I've utilized these hanging signs, which I've placed on some glowing hearts for extra detail. I've then also used some purple candles, this amethyst, and I've hung the whole thing from some end rods. This whole light is illuminating. For another decorated pot idea, you could use a light block underneath. Here I've gone with a frog light and I've surrounded it with trapdoors. It has a really cool tiered appearance. You could also create a larger lantern chandelier like this one. For this one, I've gone with a bamboo design and then I've used some of these hanging signs to hang my lanterns from and then I've got a central hanging lantern at the bottom. Now this isn't a light but it does need to hang so I've placed it here. You can see I've used some of these hanging signs and stacked them underneath each other to create this ladder like appearance. Now I could see this hanging off the edge of a cliff. You could even connect it up on the other side and it might even look like a drawbridge that has failed. Now let's look at some wall sconce lighting. For this first one I've created a tiki torch design. I've just used a campfire as well as some bamboo here. Here I've placed some stairs within these glow frames to create little hearts and I've used a torch to provide some illumination. For this wall sconce I've placed a campfire behind some cherry blossom. And for this one I've created a larger cherry blossom design using some of these banners as a feature. Another cool thing that was added in 1.20 are these calibrated sculpt sensors with their amethyst shard at the top. So I've mirror this with an amethyst at the bottom to create a really cool looking sconce. For a simpler design which you could use in a small space I've just used an item frame placed in some cherry blossom leaves and a torch within that and it really looks so much better than just a plain torch. Here we've got a larger wall sconce design this would look so cool inside a bamboo castle. I've got a flaming campfire down here and I place some bamboo and pots at the side with a circular frame. Here I've created a pot sconce light and I've used some of this netherrack hidden behind to tie in with the red fiery colour scheme. For some more lighting ideas you could create a tiki torch like this one by placing a campfire on top of some fences. You could create another torch design by placing your campfire on top of these decorated pots and surrounding with some acacia signs. For this design I've created a music note and it has a really whimsical feel and the pink hue of the cherry blossom really adds to that. Next we've got some lamps that you could use to decorate your interiors. Here you can see I've placed a lantern on top of a copper lightning rod inside one of my decorated pots and I've surrounded it with some acacia trapdoors for the shade. For this design I've used some bamboo to surround a lantern placed on top of some scaffolding. For this one here, I've placed a wall on top of my decorated pot and then I've placed an end rod under that for the illumination. I then created a lampshade out of these mangrove trapdoors. This next design uses some cherry wood as well as these decorated pots. You can see I've hung my lantern from my top pot. This means that more of the lantern is showing than if I placed it down on this lower pot. And then I place a little bonsai on the top. And here we've got some table lamps. This one here uses a dragon egg, so it probably isn't the easiest to create in survival, but if you're building in creative, it looks fantastic. The purple in the egg pairs great with the pink of the cherry blossom. And then we've got a bamboo la a lamp design, and you can see that this one uses the end rods for both the base of the lamp and to provide the illumination. Okay, it's night now, and you can see just how pretty these illuminated cherry blossoms look. And let's take a look at our lighting. It all looks fantastic and it's so much nicer than just using standard old torches to light up your build. It's these kind of details that really make your build special. While it's dark we'll also check out these hanging lantern designs. They look so cool. And these exterior lighting options like these floating lanterns and all of these really cool lamp designs. There's such a lot to choose between. So now you know over 120 1.20 building ideas, be sure to leave a comment with your favourite ones below and join my Discord to share how you've used these inside your world. I hope you'll consider liking and subscribing and check out my Patreon to support me further. I'll see you in another video.